Open Remote is a 100% open source platform which allows you to create your own IoT project. In this video, we give you an introduction on how to integrate your own data and start building a system for your customers. We log in as the admin user of Open Remote, which gives us access to all realms. First, we create a new realm for one of your new customers, which we'll call Customer A. Next, we select the Customer A realm. Let's check the available roles for users in this realm. There are currently two, the write and read role. Roles define the access rights for all different functions in the platform. We don't need another new role for now. Next, we create a new user for this realm, so your customer will have access to his own realm and can manage it himself. In the top navigation bar, you see four main pages, which we have explained earlier in the introduction video. Map, Assets, Rules and Insights. They are currently all empty. Let's create a building asset for this customer and link it to the weather. If you select the Assets page, you see an empty list on the left. We will show how to connect to a weather data service and then link it to a building asset in Rotterdam. First, we connect to the Open Weather Map data service by adding an HTTP client agent. Give the agent a name and set the URI of the weather service as well as the request query parameters, including your personal API key. You now have a basic HTTP API protocol ready and linked to the weather service. In your customer's application, you want your customer to monitor the outdoor temperature for a building in Rotterdam. Let's add that building asset. In the Edit Asset mode, you add a new attribute to the building called Temperature. Uncollapse the attribute and add the configuration item agent link. Here is where you tell this attribute to link to the already connected weather service and get the outdoor temperature for the city of Rotterdam, updating it every 60 seconds. Also, add the configuration item read only and mark it. This way, only the weather service can fill the value of this temperature attribute. When going back to the view mode, you now see the temperature value appearing. Let's also add a light asset to the same building. Later on, that could be connected in a similar manner to another agent. To take care that the building is shown on the map, you have to give it a location. Go to the edit mode of the building and select a location on the map. Once you have saved this, you will see it on the map. If you click it, a panel will appear which also includes the temperature. You can also connect a building which has open remote already running on a gateway device in that building. Using gateway devices allows you to create or link multiple local building management systems while at the same time remotely monitoring and controlling these buildings. To link to a building gateway on-premise, you first add a gateway asset which automatically generates a client ID and client secret. These are required to connect the gateway device in the building to the platform using the Manager Interconnect option on the Manager interface of that gateway device. Once connected, the assets of that second building will appear in this central platform. Let's have a look at what your customer now has available. When we log in on the realm for customer A, using his realm URL and credentials, you will now see his buildings and agents. Your customer can add more assets or agents and create new users and roles. The only difference is that he can, of course, only access his own realm. Let's look at another feature, 
adding a rule using the live temperature data. For the sake of this example, your customer now uses the temperature to turn on the light in the first building. We add a when then rule and select the created temperature attribute of the building at the when side. At the then side, we can add actions that should be performed when the when side is triggered. In this case, the light should switch on. We only want this rule to be working during weekday evenings, so we set a recurrent schedule for weekdays between 6 p.m. and 11 p.m. Hopefully, this introduction of adding multiple customers and users, integrating assets with data, and creating rules gives you an impression of how Open Remote can support you and your customers. To get started with the platform, please visit our website for a hands-on guide. Developers interested to contribute to the open source code are invited to our developers page on openremote.io. Thank you for watching.